hi guys what's up so i will continue the pubg drop vfx tutorial so in the last tutorial i modeled this pubg parachute and uh, you can watch that tutorial the link is in the description so i will continue from where i left the tutorial so in this one i will create its animation how i animated this parachute i will just insert a dummy mask to it this is how it will look Okay guys, so if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, so subscribe now for more tutorials and visual effects and make sure to like this video. Okay, so first of all I will place it right on the center. So that will make things easy. Okay, now I will create some dummy mass, some dummy drop to it. I will create the original one in the next tutorial how to create those that PUBG drop the actual box in the next tutorial and in this one I will just insert a simple box to it and then I will animate this box just like the, the drop so this will help animate this PUBG parachute okay so here is the box I will center this also and now position this box a little top a little higher and there is that one key and another one here okay now we will just create some oscillations to this mass just like that which will show that it is not just falling straight down so I'm just making random keys position keys and at the final it will be level again just like that okay and now I will remove the Z position keys that are placed in between because we will have to make this linear it falls with the same speed so that's why And that's it okay now select this cloth and position it its ropes right on top it here just like that and now we have to attach this to this box okay so first apply this cloth modifier to it that's it and make sure to turn on the self collision and solid collision for it okay now come here to the object properties and this is the circle this this parachute was drawn from this circle so select this and click the cloth so it will act as a cloth okay and now this box and this plane select these two the box is this box and the plane is that is on the bottom of this of the ground so select these two as the collision object okay now open this cloth modifier and come down to this group so here we will have to attach this to this box Select these vertices, make group, name it this. Okay, so with these selected, this group selected, select this simulation node and then directly click on this box. 
so now these vertices are attached to this box okay now the other thing that we have to do is select these vertices that are that are the rope vertices not the other these vertices and my group name it as ropes okay so now with the ropes selected come down and group parameters so now we will adjust different settings for these vertices turn on behavior settings and self collision so these are the settings now for these selected vertices if you increase this bend value which means that they will bend very little if you decrease this they will bend they will bend so much then so i will increase this to 1000 they will not be bending very much and similarly this stretch we don't want this to stretch too much okay so use these settings for the bending i have used 1000 and 1000 value for stretch it's 500 500 and don't change the other settings that's it now just come back to the cloth okay now if you just simulate it so there you can see what's happening is that the cloth is that the cloth is just getting inside its own so i will cancel this you can see the animation of course that is not what we want so you can erase this simulation by using this button now there is no simulation so now to do the settings for it come to the object properties and in the circle ok so similarly use the bend value very high so that this parachute will not bend very much if you use a high value this will not bend the parachute if you use the small value it will then bend it very much ok so now ignore this one this also and come to the stretch value similar is the case for this if you use a high value it will stretch very less if you use a small value it will stretch very much so use this 100 value for this 10,000 there and 100 at here so note down all these values and then use these for your project also similarly also note these values these are also very important this pressure value it will keep this parachute act like a plastic and it will be affected with the wind when it comes down so this pressure value is very important you have to make sure you insert this okay that's it you can insert a wind from here there is the wind i already have inserted this wind you can see here and i have animated this you can use the different keys for all the directions for the rotation so it will rotate in all the direction randomly so that it affect this parachute and you can see the strength value is 0.2 it's very small so you also have to select this one and this turbulence you may not need this it's not necessary but if you use these values then this will work fine so set these parameters for the wind also now to add this to the simulation come to the cloth forces and this is this one insert it into the simulation okay and now you have to just 
press the simulate button so there you can see our drop has reached successfully to the ground make sure to insert the keys for the positioning of the box wisely because if you move it slowly then the parachute will fall onto it if you move it too fast then the parachute will act abnormally so make sure to use that correctly you have to try different settings so that's it guys you can see it looks really awesome and cool so in the next tutorial i will model the box for the pubg drop and then you can just place that right at here on the place of this box so make sure to subscribe to my channel and like this video subscribe to my channel for more tutorials and visual effects and thanks for watching